Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have a, I don't want to say formula, but um, a, a philosophy as far as approaching advertising. So I tell my clients that if you're launching a new product, because they ask how much, how much should I budget for this? And budget question is easy, but how much am I going to generate in sales? Well, that one I I don't. Right. So so I tell them. First three months is all about building your campaign, gathering data. During that time, we're going to generate sales. But don't expect anything serious. And, and I tell them, in the first month, expect to generate a dollar for every yeah. dollar you spend. And then in month two, expect to generate... $2 for every dollar you spend. And then third month, expect 3 to $4, depending on how it's going, for every dollar you spend. So, of course, when I propose this, I'm proposing it as a take cost, not a cost. So, and I'm counting on the fact that when this is done the right way, you, they're going to get also some organic traffic. And usually my clients end up, you know, getting those numbers. And therefore the expectations that that I end up setting, it doesn't become a disappointment. So um, what do yeah. you think about that philosophy? That's definitely the right way to do it. It's all about setting expectations correctly in the first place. And I think too, you know, sometimes the goal may not be a cost and may not be tacos. So in that case, right, obviously the, the, the brand or the client is interested in reaching a certain tacos goal. They want to have confidence that your strategy is going to get them there. In other cases, if it's more specific, let's say they want to become the best seller in their category, or they want to rise to number one organically for a particular keyword that might adjust the type of research you need to do. That certainly would adjust the expectations that you need to set in terms of what's possible and what you can control. Um, and still the research is important then because you can backtrack and, and project out what it might cost to you know, own a particular keyword on Amazon. This is a strategy many brands uh, attempt. It's called uh, many different things, but I think a lot of people refer to them as ranking campaigns where it's a high level of spend on one particular keyword, you're trying to be at the top all the time. You're trying to improve the organic ranking on that keyword. But going back to a question I asked earlier, you know, how do you know how much spend or how many you know, search impressions there are for Bluetooth headphones? It's impossible to know that um, unless you're bidding and winning 100% of the time and you let that run all day long, then you, you have an idea, but that's going to be very expensive. And so um, trying to map, model that out with even just hours worth of data within a given day or ideally one full day's worth of data is super important for when you're trying to set that expectation either internally or with your client for what they can expect. You know, is it realistic to be able to capture all of the search volume on a particular keyword when that keyword has, you know, a million clicks a day? Probably not. If it has a thousand clicks a day, maybe, maybe you can afford that. Um, and so that's really what it comes down to is making sure you're aligned on goals, making sure you have data to back up what you're saying and to back up your strategy and setting the right expectation for your customer, for your internal team.